What's up guys, it's Shani with Healing Elements with another addition to my playlist that I'm putting together all about spirit animals. This one in particular is all about the horse spirit animal and if you've particularly resonated throughout your life at a specific time or in general for your entire life theme with the spirit animal of the horse, perhaps take a listen and see if any of the traits or symbolic meanings do resonate with you. And of course, if you have never um, heard of spirit animals or resonated with any particular species of animal for your spirit totem or spirit animal, perhaps intuitively be guided just to take a look at one of the spirit animal videos within this list. Perhaps you will resonate and find your animal totem. So guys, this is all about the horse spirit animal. So one of my very favorites, just like the last one I uploaded, the dolphin spirit animal. This is a magical, beautiful, noble spirit animal energy. So if you resonate with the horse as your spirit animal, um, it represents nobility, beauty within physical and mental capacities, extreme beauty, allure, alluring beauty, almost like charisma and physical beauty um, matched like a, a Marilyn Monroe, very a sexual prowess has to do and strength and fertility with the horse spirit animal energy. Um, extremely indicative of power and control, not of others, but power and control over your own, you know, steadfast trot or gallop, whichever in your life you're doing at the time. It is all about being determined. There's great determination and willpower um, behind the energy in the spirit animal of the horse. Divination also, uh, magic and divination, uh, you know, an essence of grace. Um, an, old, <clears throat> an old soul, so to speak, is somebody who would resonate with the horse spirit animal energy. Um, you know, someone who is very particular or, you know, senses acutely, of course, just like a horse does and are in tune with that which is around you. So definitely somebody who would be able to tell right off the bat instinctively from the first interaction with anyone or an environment or a chosen occupation or experience, whether or not that was vibrating or conducive or, you know, aligned with who you are and what you want to be. So you are very, very in tune with uh, many more than just six senses. Um, you, if you resonate with this energy, you're kind of a silent, instinctive, you know, person. Um, within your aura and your persona, you carry around a silent knowing, someone, you know, that doesn't really worry about the charge itself. You simply intuitively are guided to take charge. And when you do, it's very powerful. Um, instinctive and determined to go in a specific direction that you would like it to go. You definitely, again, are unmatched in power, ability, and overall brute strength. This is also, you know, a spirit animal associated with war and, you know, affliction, but that that is needing to be taken care of. Something um, along the lines of, you know, you don't believe in war, but you believe that if we had not have gone to war in World War II, our world would be a much, much darker place. You're extremely agile physically and mentally. So you're very mutable, changeable, very agile, and just like a thoroughbred I know, or a trained horse, you can deliver strength and endurance with powerful discernment with your flexibility. So, you know, with this capability to be agile, um, whether you were taught well enough by others growing up or self-trained, self-educated or guided or trained continuously by someone you look up to, you know, by others, you are able to jump over any hurdles, obstacles that are in front of you, just like the horse does on an obstacle course. Um, definitely gracefully taking even other people along with you, like the rider, the jockey, jumping over these hurdles very, very agile and gracefully. You are somebody who loves tradition and traditions feel mystical to you. It's important to you because you feel like traditions that you practice, you know, are keeping this silent, sacral, symbolic 
honor to your ancestral lineage, to your ancestors. Um, you're a master of getting the hang of how to approach life in a balanced way between being tame or wild, between tame terms and wild terms, because there's a time and place for both energies, right? Sometimes, um, you know, choosing to put like, I guess some jockeys or horse owners would do blinders on their horses. You choose sometimes to do this yourself because you absorb so much energy. It's almost like a defense mechanism that you feel that you must take. And again, you know, the horse spirit animal energy is indicative of virility, of vitality, of fertility, uh, vibrant, youthful, capable, and ready to, you know, breed if that is literal or just in a sense where you're capable of rearing your own young and doing it properly with power discernment between love, grace, and also the lessons you need to teach. So this is visible. It's like kind of like a life force. This vitality is a life force and it's usually attached to you like, you know, a sign on your face. Like everybody who view you can see this beautiful and is very, very alluring and very attractive, youthful quality. Very like a sexiness, like a playful, flirtatious type of vibe. Um, you have an unbridled desire to be free. So you believe in your freedoms and your liberties, whatever that may mean personally to you. And you must be unconfined. You know, you cannot be kept where you don't want to be. Horses will jump over the fence if they don't like their owners. They, you know, they will um, have been known to injure themselves just to get free of any kind of ropes or chains that bind them if they are completely, with their horse sense, uncomfortable with their quarters. If they're uneasy and confined, forget about it. There is nothing that can constrict you or stop you when your urge for freedom or sense of needing to be released from any restrictions comes across to you. So if you resonate with the spirit animal of the horse, you are never one to be stagnant for long. If you get the urge and the sense within you that you need to be free, you will make yourself so. You know, you uh, also are a goal setter and a goal accomplisher. So you attack your goals with a lot of speed, quickness, and an ability to really quickly, almost like a horse race, get to the finish line first. And not because you want to seek power, because you know that with hard work and being so, you know, able to accomplish your goals within a certain amount of time, you bank on that. And you're able to reserve your time between like, you know, grazing and galloping. There's a time and place for either. So um, definitely, definitely a family oriented social creature. Horses in the wild, you know, are in herds. They love to show affection in, you know, very sensitive, tangible, touching type of ways. Um, playful as well. And again, going back to how sensitive you are with people's vibes. It's like, you know, you only keep the same company as you are basically. So anything that does not, you know, resonate, um, vibrate is not compatible with you, anything at all. And it doesn't even have to be a bad thing about this person, place or thing. It's just going to be eliminated because vibes are essential within your life and within your survival. Um, also horse spirit animal energy is known for being heroic in many, many different, you know, um, ancient mythology stories and things like that. The horse is always symbolic of a hero. So, you know, of course we could think of Greco Roman terms, Hercules and his horse, all that. But you also, I really was intrigued diving deeper into this spirit animal energy to find out that, um, in Celtic and Welsh lore, um, the goddesses had, um, a mare, usually a pale, like a white horse and it would be symbolic. They were the um, goddess of fertility. So again, a virality, a youthfulness, a beauty, you know, shines through the spirit animal energy. Um, so throughout life, you're definitely able to use much resilience, just sheer power within your endurance and strength received from things that you have endured over your life or learned throughout your lifetime. You carry that with a, a wisdom and are able to show that to your social circle. And so you know, the ultimate people reader, again, being so sensitive on vibes, you 
if you resonate with horse spirit animal energy you have these invisible intuitive feelers that are constantly on point so even perhaps if you're in an apartment and you have some sort of um, spook you know how horses quote unquote get spooked maybe something going on in the next apartment over I mean that's how sensitive you are you have intuitive feelings about people feelers that are there you know after your first interaction once again if this energy persona or core spirit of this person is going to be you know inductive and compatible with yours or not um, absolute independent choices of expression is something that resonates also with the horse spirit animal so very strong ties to being your own individual or um identifying whether that's something as a gender a race or um you know a style it is something you take charge of you know almost like that powerful horse power energy and this independent expression of who you are what you look like to the outside world how you want to look you know is carefully crafted out in a very distinct way intentionally by you and that is a good thing because it shows a lot of again independent authority to pick and choose what you want to be viewed as and that is always authentic with people who resonate with horse spirit animal energy you're not going to make a persona that is a facade or a fake mask and again you know um very very ancient wise mythical spirit animal energy the horse is so it's indicative of ancient wisdom of healing ancient you know medicines herbs rituals messages of importance you know that would assist ailing souls on earth here now in the present um, these are all channeled from your energy and through you from ancestral lineage like i said or you know from the other side from angelic realms you are very capable of soothing others but this is the but you're able to soothe others in peril so completely but there's a tendency for you to get spooked and not self soothe you're almost so powerful so able so stubborn basically and capable and strong you almost feel that it is a weakness when you are the one that needs some sort of soothing right so um it's really not a weakness to need that but i resonate with that energy you know you prefer to heal others and feel needy at times when you are asked i mean when you need and someone is offering to soothe you in return so again you can get a little spooked out whether or not you are trying to self-soothe or you feel like it is time to go and search out a modality person or thing to soothe whatever ails you it doesn't exactly make you comfortable because you're used to being the one that is capable of doing this for others and again a big emphasis on sexuality so um, virility sexuality um, sexual prowess um, attractiveness you know sexiness magnetic qualities where it seems like seriously wherever you go there's going to be that person who either in a um, light way gets obsessive about you or really does get obsessive about you because you are someone who is so strong within again the expression of knowing who you are representing what you are and also so sensitive so this quality of being both so strong and also sensitive is something very rare so if you resonate with that then you resonate of course with this spirit animal energy also very very indicative and i think is one of the most important themes to mention about the spirit animal of the horse is sacred bonds and the sacred nature nature and importance of what that represents to you so relationships commitments partnerships um family bonds soul family member bonds you know silent psychic like twin flame or soulmate or any kind of interconnectivity that is just so powerful it never leaves your soul that is something that remains with you and is of great great significance and importance for you to try to understand throughout your life and you often will think back to even those kind of sacred bonds that are lost either to death or to time or to whatever the case may be so just like if you think of a rider and their beloved horse right the bonds run deep and it's a silent knowing you know a sacral connection between you and others just like the rider and the horse and again <laughs> the horse spirit animal is a bit when you explain it 
to be an oxymoron just based on the fact that such a sensitive creature can be so powerful, able to, as you know, um, you know, buck off anything, right? And get away from anything and very smart and intellectual too. Like horses are known if they are uncomfortable or uneasy with the vibrations of the person riding them, they will, you know, run straight and out into like a parallel branch and have the person go colliding off of it. I mean, they will, you will, you're determined to make your stand, make your charge and to not be around any energy that is going to affect you in any negative vibrational way. So guys, thank you for listening to my latest video within the spirit animal playlist. This was all about the horse spirit animal.